Dry Hip. The Redland Dry Hip system has delivered years of trouble free service on tens of thousands of properties throughout the UK. With very high resistance to storm damage and no wet trades required, concerns about mortar failure can be ignored. For a standard dry hip, underlay and batten the roof with ends of tiling battens supported on the hip rafter. For dry hip with rigid sarking or Cambrian tiles, please refer to the detailed installation instructions that come with the pack. Secure a pair of hip batten straps to the hip rafter using the 3.35mm by 60mm stainless steel nails provided. At centres no greater than 550mm, fix the other straps up the length of the hip. Ensure that the first and last straps are fixed no more than 250mm from the fascia or hip ridge intersections respectively. Place the correct number of spacer blocks for the tile onto the straps. This may have to be adjusted for particular roof types. Neatly cut and secure the tiles to line up with the hip batten with a tail clip or C-clip. All cut tiles should be secured with two clips. The tail clip should be bent down over the head of the tile in the course below and the cut tile slides securely into the clip. The C-clip is positioned at the head of the cut tile in the region of the interlock. Lay and clip all tiles at the length of the hip, with the cut edge of the tiles not to be more than 30mm from the hip batten. Place a timber batten onto the blocks, see pack for sizes. Where it is necessary to use more than one length of timber, joints should be made over the supporting blocks. Secure the hip batten in position by wrapping the stainless steel straps around the batten and fix with the 2.65 by 30 mil stainless steel clout nails provided. Starting from the eaves, dress the rollable membrane centrally over the hip batten, ensuring all gaps at the eaves are covered. Tack in place if necessary. Remove the backing strip from the adhesive section and neatly dress onto the tiles. Adhesion will be improved if the tiles are clean and dry. Continue along the full length of the hip, overlapping each roll by at least 50mm. Trim the rollable membrane and form over the hip end. Cut one of the hip tile support trays between the eaves cut line indicated. Align the cut edge with the tail of the eave course of tiles and secure the cut hip tile support to the hip batten with the clout nail placed through the top tab. Carry on clipping uncut hip tile support trays, ensuring the tails of the trays are aligned to the line at the head of the fixed support. On reaching the ridge, mitre the supports to fit and fix in place. Place a purpose designed block end hip tile tight against the eaves tiles and secure with screws provided. Continue up the hip, ensuring the hip tiles are butted together and that no individual hip tile is less than 300mm long. Please see our separate video for fixings where two hips meet the ridge.